And now for international headlines, we turn to our Bruce Harrison at the News Center. Today's focus, the United States and the world remember the September 11th terrorist attacks. A U.S. official claims Islamic State is using chemical weapons against its enemies and rescuers search for nearly two dozen people missing in floods in Japan. Well, Bruce, let's start with our first story. 9-11 considered the worst terror attack in history. How are Americans remembering that tragic day? Daniel, people are heading to work right now in New York City, and many commuters likely see the skyline that's marked by the tallest building in the city. It stands in place of the main towers of the World Trade Center, which were reduced to rubble in the suicide attacks 14 years ago today. The New York Times reports events are scheduled throughout the day in New York to remember those who died and honor the emergency workers killed. A moment of silence was held this morning, marking the minute the first plane hit the towers. Families of victims then began reading the names of those killed. Ceremonies were also held across the world in Afghanistan. NATO soldiers marked the anniversary. As we conduct our mission here in Afghanistan, pursuing our nation's vital interests, it is important to reflect on the reasons why we came here. The attacks were carried out by Muslim extremists who hijacked planes and crashed them into the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and a Pennsylvania field. Another reminder can also be seen in the New York skyline, two permanent columns of light where the Twin Towers once stood.